The question that how do you develop robotics projects where you have to build algorithms, big simulations and combine it into a form of presentation. How you do that? Let's take an example here of self-driving car in ROS2 which myself and Heather Abbasi made 3-4 years ago. The workflow I'm going to be showing is for beginners as no testing or debugging is involved. Just simple workflow for simulation and algorithms implementation. Let's start with the plan. As the project is complex we need ROS knowledge we need computer vision knowledge we need AI knowledge and control system so let's go step by step the first one is designing a simulation in which we placed a track in the middle there is a traffic light on the edges of the track there are signboards for the car to read and set the speed accordingly once we are ready with the simulation we then move toward capturing the simulation data and then applying computer vision algorithms like lane detection signboard detection tracking and traffic light segmentation specifically when it turns green the car moves on the red the car stops control is for the car driving the whole behavior is dependent upon driving of the car. As the car moves, we see things and then specifically the signboards. If we detect them, we are not going to act upon them until unless we pass by them using optical flow. So these are the three main aspects, but let's go into each one of it. How I will plan all of these before writing the code. The first we design is traffic light, which has the colors in it as we can see it switched to red and then after some time it is going to switch back to green there's a timer being set next let's the signboards which the car will be detecting and set its speed there's also a signboard for turn and stop it is going to be placed on the right side of the car so it can detect easily and one of the most important thing in simulation is car itself. We will be fixing a camera on the top of the car to see on the front and the car's hardware interface with ROS so we can drive it. In computer vision for this project, the first thing after simulation was estimating the mid lane. And this is totally dependent upon the colors of the simulation. So we have to first record and then build algorithms. After that, we extract the lane for the car to move, which we set it to be of green color. And that is between yellow line on the right and the mid lane. The next step was to detect the signs as we are detecting speed sign 90. It is detecting and as it is passed, the car's speed is then is set to 90. For signboards, the important thing is tracking. And as you can see, after detection of left turn, it is being tracked. When the tracking result goes out of the frame, then we act upon it. And for turning, we set a certain rotational velocity for the front wheels of the car. One of the challenging thing was traffic lights as we have to first segment out the whole traffic box because it contains different colors and we are detecting only red and green once the green is detected the car moves otherwise on the red it stays where it is and this is done through color segmentation and before that we build a hard cascade for detecting of the whole traffic signal as that car has different behaviors and we want the different behaviors to sometime act concurrently or sometime dependently behavior tree is very popular in robotics for this only reason that it deals with multiple behaviors and you can set sequences fallbacks action nodes control nodes for different behaviors to act at different required points now if we take a look our main behaviors of our car is traffic light detection speed sign recognition and sign boat tracking then lane detection and alignment obstacle detection avoidance and dynamic cruise control for traffic light detection we first detect the traffic light if it is visible or not if it is not visible as it is a fallback one of it it goes false it is going to look for the other it is wait until the any one of it turns to be success which is behavior tree theory which we can understand in a different lecture so in the sequence we will look into analyze the traffic light execute the reaction that we want with our car in red it stop in green it moves for speed sign if it is visible then we analyze it then we track the sign and we perform the optical flow tracking until the board has passed then we adjust the speed because we can view very far so if a sign board is there at a very far distance we don't want our car to stop at that specific point sign board tracking now this sign board tracking is for the turnings of our car and this is a little bit different because when 
we have the signboard being crossed we want a specific behavior for our car the classification is done through a neural network model left turn right turn stop because angles have to be taken on the turns so this is separate lane detection and alignment is the most important one as we are moving on the track the detections come later so first mid lane estimation and the lane segmentation is performed concurrently by the other and all of these you can see the main sequence is driving sequence and all of these are fallback and sequences built logically if you have a freelance project or a contract you can utilize same process if you have multiple teams you can divide these modules into other people in programming when we are writing code we have to follow the practices from the language perspective and while designing simulation we don't have much resources available online what are the good practices and stuff but for starters i would recommend to build environments for themselves to test algorithms and certain scenarios where some algorithms fail understand robotics and learn it by building environments because you cannot give dynamic environments in real worlds easily